Hey guys, it's Rachel. It's um, Thankful Thursday. I'm here with Kel this week. Um, I'm having a complete nightmare with my webcam. Um, I had to go out and buy another one and it still froze on my computer. And I actually made um, two videos yesterday, one of which was too large to upload to YouTube because I used a different camera. And the other one was freezing in all the wrong places. Well, it just froze the whole way and it was all out of sync. So anyway, finally, through all this frustration, I am here. I'm here with Cal. And this week we're going to look at um, something concerning um, how to create um, a recovery environment. Um... It's kind of following um, a pattern um, of videos that we're doing. Um, okay, I had quite a few ideas yesterday. Um, my head was kind of buzzing a lot. I've kind of crashed back down to earth today. So I look like hell and I feel like hell. Um, and I'm going to try and like recall some of um, what I was saying and what was going on. Um, okay, for me, when it comes to creating a recovery environment, I have to think of it in two places. I have to think of it within the self, and I have to think of it outside of the self. Um, I think that you not only have to create an environment for yourself internally, um, but you also need to focus on your environment and what is in your environment, what is health, healthy, positive, helpful, hindrance um, in your environment. I'm going to begin with... Um, inside your head and I'm going to kind of use this idea of four walls I don't know where some of the people here who are watching this are in their recovery or whether they've even began recovery and I guess I want this to touch the people who are in recovery and give them some reassurance support and guidance but I also want to hit some of the people who are not quite in recovery yet and I guess if you're watching this video, I would say that that's a huge start. And I'm going to talk about that in terms of environment as well. Um, but initially, I want to talk about this idea of four walls and how if you stay within the four walls of your house, your home, um, even your environment around you, you don't sort of look over the wall or cross those boundaries. You stay very kind of restricted in your environment. That to me is four walls and it's restricting you. It's restricting you from living the life you could be living. And I'm also thinking about the four walls that are in internally. So you're literally, you're boxed into your mind. There's no kind of, you're blocking this out, you're blocking that out, you're blocking this out, you're blocking that out. It doesn't matter what it is, but you're blocking it out and you're keeping your four walls, you're keeping them rigid and you're sort of caught in the middle of that and you're running around, running around, running around. You're doing anything you can to keep yourself distracted, anything you can do, whether that's your eating disorder and using behaviours such as restriction, um, losing weight, um, over-exercise, binging, purging, whatever it is that is going on that's keeping you in this kind of like box, this like hamster wheel. And um, it stops you from, from thinking, it stops you from feeling. And I guess what I want you to get out of this video today is for you to think about thinking. So okay, you're within the four walls of your mind and you're not letting yourself expand your horizon. But start to think about what there is out there. Allow yourself to look outside of the box, okay? and to try to think in your mind about the things that create a positive, safe, and healthy environment for you, okay? That isn't your eating disorder. And okay, at this point in time, it may be your eating disorder, but what else? So I'm saying aside from your eating disorder, you, you could be self-harming, your depression, whatever it is, you know, whether you're bouncing off the scenes, whatever it is, what, what, makes you feel good right okay love okay loving other people loving yourself um that to me is a huge one hope courage and love are on this necklace in different rings okay they're kind of like my three words for other people they could be different things trust um life I don't know I don't know it can it can be whatever you want it to be and I carry these kind of three affirmations with me and so when I'm stuck inside my head I can go well I've 
got love and I've got hope and I've got courage. And where do I find those three things? So you're letting yourself step out of the box that is your mind, okay? You're letting some light in. Um, I also think that there's a really good quote, actually, which kind of sums it up. And it's something along the lines of um, the first the journey of a thousand miles isn't in the first step but begins in your imagination okay so I'm not asking you to change anything all I'm asking you to do right now is to think is to think about what you could be to think about who you could be to think about where you could be okay look into the future allow yourself to see a future okay five years down the line right you're starving yourself at the moment you're binging and purging every day right you're not getting out of bed you're manic you're whatever okay you're self-harming you're drinking you're taking drugs you're over exercising okay you keep doing that and where are you going to be in fact well do you know what if, if it's that severe you're not going to be anywhere in five years because it's going to kill you where are you going to be what hospitalized again you can sit here and tell yourself that no that won't happen but if you are actively engaging in destructive and harmful behaviors you will hit a point of crisis whereby you will either try to kill yourself okay end up in hospital okay be not here anymore or be at a crisis point of I need to change this okay even if you don't go into hospital or whatever okay so this needs to change at some point and this is why recovery has to begin okay because you know asking why recover is like asking a seed why grow okay so think create an environment for yourself in your head that feels that's safer that's dreaming that's allowing that okay and your out external environment right i want you to write down um the people the things and the activities that make you smile and then i want to make you to write a list of the things that fa you find very very difficult okay in my case i'll speak openly here about it okay the positives in my life so my family my friends my animals okay they're my life they are literally my lifeline my activity is dancing. I'm going dancing. Actually, I should be leaving now in like five minutes, okay? I'm going dancing. I love it. I love to dance. I do creative writing, okay? I take photographs, okay? And in terms of places, I love walking up in the hills around here. I love visiting new countries. All of these things are expanding your horizons and they're going to create an environment for you that is safe, okay? By not, you don't have to reject people, but by just taking a step back from those people who have a lot of difficulties surrounding yourself by very positive things and these positive things can be watching the collab okay can be making a commitment to watch these videos to engage with these videos read some books paul coelho okay read some of him okay we've got a book list on the page the book list that is on the um channel is pretty extensive and it's what i used for my dissertation okay so there's stuff it there to do rape the textbooks if you want something lighter read some stuff like paul quelio um the aurea mount dreamer she's amazing as well read some of her books um justine gardner excellent just beautiful beautiful books read those books watch films watch films that inspire you watch films that make you feel good okay i'm talking you can watch breakfast at tiffany's sex in the city confessions of a shopaholic then you could watch some french films you could watch there's some beautiful french movies out there um you know watch things that make you feel good um and and and, and inspire you so surround yourself by stuff that is inspiring and by doing this by creating this environment for yourself when you say okay i need to look at my behaviors you're going to feel you're going to only not only have distractions and things around you that can occupy your mind in a positive way but you're going to have the people around you who help you who actually when you're having a complete nightmare you can pick up the phone and go suze can you talk okay i want you to be able to do that um and i want to say now that anyone can recover from an eating disorder i believe that i believe that straight out i wouldn't be going into a career as a clinical psychologist if i didn't believe it i do believe that people can recover from this you know look can you see my we can do it and around there i don't know if you can see post-it notes and the post-it notes are just another way they say things like I have options, I am strong enough, I am filled with hope and light, okay? Those types of things help. My environment here in my bedroom, okay, the, very soon on, you know, when I was back here, I filled it with pictures because it makes me feel good, it inspires me, it remembers 
rem well, it reminds me of why I'm here and what I want to do, okay? So I want to say to you, please try and find things that make you not only believe in yourself, but other people who believe in you, okay? And take the flipping step. Begin it up here in your head, okay? Start to imagine where you could be if things changed and got better, okay? That's what I want you to do because you can do this and you can recover and this is possible and I believe in you. The collab believes in you. We wouldn't be putting these videos out, you know, every single day of every week, of every month, of every year if we didn't believe. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it till next week. See you later. Bye.